now let us talk about thread pool what is a pool what is a connection pool will be having a ready made connection objects so that you are going to acquire that connection object i mean you are going to take that connection object and you are going to perform some operations or computations over a database right like that you will be having in thread pool it is what a pool that is it is a container which is having ready made threads in order to execute our job okay you are not recommended to start the threads it is going to take care of that one who is going to take care of that one if i do instance that particular thread pool class it is going to contain some threads in that thread pool how many threads should be there we have to insist that one i am going to tell how to do this one what is that thread pool is a what it is a collection of ready made threads which are having capacity to execute you are task okay try to understand this one guys what is this thread pool ah what is a thread pool come on it is it is ah it is it is a collection of collection of ready made okay ready made thread okay ready made thread which is which is existing okay which is existing to execute our task okay which is exi i mean which is exi existing to execute our ah uh, our task okay so how we can do achieve this thread pool for that the sun microsystem has introduced one of the framework what is that ah uh, what is that executors framework and thread pool framework also we can do call that one okay try to observe here we can achieve this one we can achieve this thread pool this by using meaning is what they have given some ready made classes if you do create an instance same like our frameworks like hibernate spring all these things okay now try to observe here okay it's very important okay we can achieve this by using what a ah, executors framework a ah, executors framework a ah, thread pool framework okay thread pool framework and this framework all related things were available in one class what is that class means it is what executors class okay if you do use that executors class everything will be finished okay we are having some methods what are those let me tell it is so simple no need to use your brain here a lot but thing is how the application servers and web servers are going to execute our applications you are going to get an idea about that one if i do compile and if i do one code for this one okay please try to understand everything will be in advanced level please try to understand if you are not having prior knowledge you cannot understand my sessions okay please be good in ha uh, you are required things of course acjb level is also required to understand all these things okay here everything will be in advanced level okay now so so how we can do create a thread pool okay how to ah uh, how to create a thread pool it is so simple it is so simple it is so simple just use what ah uh, how to create a thread pool okay let it be you have to depend upon the executors class okay executors class which is having a method which is called as static method new fixed thread pool new fixed thread pool okay now as an argument you have to pass how many threads must be there in that pool getting how many threads must be there in that pool what is this an int value okay it represents what how many threads okay in that in that in that thread pool okay now okay so it is going to return executor service instance okay executor service instance let me get refer this one with is okay now on this instance that is executor service instance is having some of the methods to submit our task to the ah uh, to which one to our thread pool okay so try to observe here how to submit the task to the threads which are available in this thread pool think that i have created one thread pool which is having some three threads okay let it be like uh, thread 0 thread 1 and thread 2 okay thread 0 thread 1 thread 2 okay it is what a thread pool okay and that to its name is i mean it is the first thread pool okay now try to observe here how to submit okay how to submit a task task to a thread at 
थ्रेड पोल तो ये थ्रेड आठ हाँ आठ थ्रेड पोल ओके सो सिंपल वॉट यू हाउ टू डू मीन्स एस डॉट सबमिट मेथड इज देर ओके एस डॉट सबमिट मेथड एस एन आर्ग्यूमेंट यू हाउ टू पास वॉट ओनली रनबुल टाइप इन इंस्टेंसेस सो वॉट यू हाउ टू डू यू हाउ टू पास एन इंस्टेंस such that that instance corresponding class must be the implementation class for runnable interface that's it finish nothing more great here okay and how to shut down this particular thread pool okay how to shut down this thread pool simple as dot shut down okay and st strictly speaking still many things were there i mean as part of this session we are covering only this one try to understand these things and definitely you can be good in, in interview room okay you can face the interview questions i am sure that okay now let us directly go on develop this small piece of code nothing great here okay please try to understand me okay now now try to understand guys okay now let me take one class called thread pool okay class thread pool okay ah uh, which implements runnable why Ah, why? Okay, no need to worry. Okay, no need to worry. Let me go from scratch. Okay, now, what is this public static void main string array? What is that? Ah, executors is the class which is having some instant that is static method which is that new fixed thread pool getting new fixed thread pool getting now as an argument you have to pass how many threads must be there in that thread pool for you right so let me give what two okay let me give what two okay after that it is going to return what ah executor service instance let it be like s and i want to submit the task for this particular ah for this particular ah thread pool what what is that particular method is dot submit as an argument you have to pass what runnable type instances only what are those instances runnable type instances means what that class instance must be implementation class for runnable so meaning is what it is going to execute the run method of that particular implementation class so we have to submit what ah uh, submit of ah uh, you have to submit what runnable instance so meaning is what you have to understand maturity must be there advanced level okay try to understand here i am going to put here as what implements ah uh, implements runnable okay implements runnable meaning is what try to observe here let me close this particular mm, main method okay now let me override that particular run method which is available as an abstract method in our runnable interface okay now now what i am going to do here is now let me take one constructor for this thread pool okay what is that string s okay and what is that constructor thread pool okay thread pool string s let me put this dot s is i am assigning this local variable to the instance thing so for for each and every instance creation there will be a separate string variable right i mean separate string value right that i am going to print that that's it nothing great here okay try to observe here public void run so definitely it is going to execute this method only right now sop of a uh, current okay now current thread we have to call that one on the thread class only thread dot a uh, current th thread what is this method ah you will not understand if you are following if you are refers to this class you must have prior knowledge okay i have explained about all those things okay now thread dot current uh, thread okay now by ah uh, by let it be okay thread dot by let it be string s let it be like s okay thread executing uh, this one or pursuing okay or pursuing okay or pursuing okay try to understand okay now let me close this particular thing it is having written type as what wide means what no written type pure basics fundamentals fundamentals are must 
in these sessions okay now try to observe this one what i'm going to do here is so simple okay now i'm going to submit this thread pool thing okay new ah new thread pool okay it's a class name and we are having this one as what thread okay let me take this one as what capital p don't get confused okay this one as what capital p okay capital p okay yes now everything is fine okay now thread pool okay thread pool capital p okay now let me take as an argument what ah as an argument let me take what ah ssc let it be like ssc okay anything it depends on your uh, wish guys i'm not forcing to take only this one okay and let me take other one as what i'm going to submit submit ah uh, i'm going to submit one more thing one more task what is that as an argument we have to pass what runnable in instance only that's why i implemented this one that's why i put implement runnable so if i do create an instance the, uh, uh, i mean create an instance for thread pool it is going to become the time for runnable right now see here new ah uh, new thread pool okay new thread pool plus 1 plus Two, okay and now let me take uh, let me take one more submit method ah uh, what is that ah uh, s dot submit okay let me take one more thing s dot submit let me take five why because our thread pool size is what two right there will be two threads ready madely in order to execute these particular threads see once the thread has been executed it task the thread will be once again kept into the thread pool so that if there is any task that task will be assigned to that thread internally who is going to take care of those things and this thing executor service is going to take care of that one okay that implementation was done in this executors executor service okay now try to observe here okay now let me take one more submit method okay and at last let me put what shutdown okay now let me put here submitting the task so simple thing try to observe new thread pool let me take what after that graduation okay graduation okay ah uh, after that ah uh, new thread pool pc after that most probably will go for what phd it's very important phd okay okay phd please try to do phd you can be very good in analysis okay now let me okay and let me close this class now let us go on to execute this one so here what the output will be do you know like thread pool okay thread pool pool 1 okay that thread name okay that thread name and other one is what this one ssc ah uh, plus 1 plus 2 thing is concentrate on this one guys thread pool pool 1 okay let it be like thread 1 thread 0 thread 1 thread 0 will be there but there will be only one pool and there will be only two threads those two threads are going to execute uh, this many tasks 1 2 3 4 five task okay simple thing nothing great here okay no need to spend much time here let us go for other topics okay now try to observe this one guys okay now let me go and execute this piece of code the same piece of code whatever we have seen over board but thing is i have taken the thread to get sleep for one second nothing great here guys okay nothing great here okay and let me put here is what pursuing okay pass swing okay now okay now try to observe please try to observe guys okay please try to observe this one okay now let me go and compile this piece of code what is that thread pool and class name is getting changed no need to worry okay now what is that java c thread pool okay let me run this one okay now what is that ah uh, thread pool only java thread pool okay ah uh, try to observe the piece of code there will be only one thread pool okay try to observe thread pool pool will be only one try to observe the screen okay see here thread pool one thread Two thread one thread two and priority main and and which thread group they are uh, belonging to okay main thread group pursuing each one plus one plus two school college p I mean PG P has instead of here graduation I have put as uh, see here M fill okay let me put this one as what ah uh, here 
graduation okay graduation and here i have taken how many tasks six tasks okay let it be let me put as what pg and let it be as what phd okay now try to observe okay try to observe same piece of code okay getting